One of the big advantages that animation has over live action is the ability to express through color. Even though live action can simulate this feeling with different kinds of shading and lighting and gradients, ultimately there's only so much that you can do with the natural color palette without resorting to computer generated enhancements that often make live action look a bit cartoony. Which is why animation has such an advantage because that aesthetic is inherently built in and they can use those vibrant bright colors or those understated washed out colors to express emotion and feel in a way that live action often cannot. Arcane, of course, does this in a very masterful way in a lot of the scene lighting and contrast and the way that the scenes are shot. I mean, just look at this shot and this one. I mean, these shots are just gorgeous and they're really only possible through the world of animation. And one area that I have not really seen discussed when it comes to praising Arcane's animation is how it uses color to express the diversity in technology and how those diversities also express themselves through the dichotomous societies of Zaun and Piltover. Early on in Arcane, we are introduced to the new groundbreaking technology, Hextech. These are the little blue crystals bounding with energy that Jace uses to build his incredibly futuristic weapons and advanced technology in Piltover, but they're also exploited and used by the people of Zond like Jinx, who do not fully understand and cannot completely harness that power the way the more skilled scientists in Piltover do. Now, what's very interesting about the Hextech power is that it's always coated with tones of blue. The crystals themselves are blue. The radiation and the light the crystals give off is blue. The color blue is constantly associated with the Hextech technology, and there's a very good reason for that. You see, we're also introduced to a competing technology that is developed by the people in Zaun, namely Singed and Silco, Shimmer. And Shimmer is very distinct from Hextech in a bunch of different ways. Whereas the Hextech crystals are kind of tidy and compartmentalized, the Shimmer is a goop that oozes and spills out of barrels that are haphazardly transported, whereas the Hextech is already encapsulated in something and can be tightly inserted into new technological marvels, the Shimmer has to be injected into people, giving them enhanced strength. And whereas the Hextech is coated blue with the radiation, the crystals, and the light, the Shimmer is coated purple. The actual sludge of Shimmer is purple. Its barrels often give off a purplish glow. When it's injected, you see the veins in people turn a shade of purple. And once again, this is very deliberate color coding to make the Shimmer, the technology of Zaun, purple. You see, we unconsciously recognize color as coding emotion in different ways. You often hear red as coding for anger or green as coding for calmness, but colors like purple, orange, blue, and yellow have their own associated feelings and uses within fiction. You see, when an image or a shot has a lot of red imagery in it, it's meant to make us feel excited and passionate. Whereas if an image has a lot of yellows in it, it's meant to make us feel a lot of warmth and positivity and joy. And when it comes to colors like blue and purple, they each also have their own unique psychological association. Blue is a color that is often associated with confidence, strength, and power. It's a very regal color, and so it is used mostly by very powerful individuals as a show of strength. On the other hand, purple is a color that is much more fantastical. It's a color that expresses a lot of imagination and, and mystery. It's a color that isn't seen a whole lot in nature, and so it tends to stick out a lot more as being a bit unnatural. So it's very easy to understand why Riot decided to use these two colors to code the technologies of the two different cities. The blue goes along with the hex tech, which is itself very clean and orderly and neat, but it's also full of power and energy, which requires strength to control. On the other hand, the purple shimmer is something that was manufactured. It's unnatural. It had to be created by scientists. And it's also in its raw form. It's very sloppy and unwieldy to manage. And these two technologies also perfectly reflect the two societies that created them. Hextech comes from Piltover, the land of scientists, people who are in control, have the resources, who have the technology and the ability to control this great power because they already have that experience. On the other hand, Zaun created Shimmer. They are the unnatural, deformed sort of world where everything must fight for survival, where the cunningness of its people is what's needed to survive. It's a place that doesn't have power except that which it makes for itself. 
And these color codings of the technology that they each produce is also reflected in the early establishing shots of each of these cities. In Piltover, we get, we get a lot of shots of the bright blue skies that the city gets to overlook, whereas below in Zaun, we have a lot of muted neon colors that will often include purple. But what's most interesting is that in one instance, Arcane flips this convention on its head, and that's in regards to the color coding of its two protagonists, Vi and Jinx. Now, of course, the creators are somewhat limited by the fact that these two characters exist in the game with their certain aesthetic already established, but it is very interesting to see that in all other cases, Vi and Jinx are actually the opposite of the aesthetic trope that they should be embodying. Vi with her purple hair is the example of strength and power. She is the person of order. She associates with Caitlyn and we know from the lore she eventually becomes the enforcer of Piltover. So she really should be established and associated a lot more with blue. On the other hand, our blue-haired antagonist Jinx is much more wild and chaotic. She is somebody who is very difficult to control brimming with power and, and often kind of unable to be directed properly. She is associated with Zaun, and yet her blue hair makes her stick out. So it's interesting that even though this might not have been fully intentional when creating Arcane, Riot has made its two main characters stand out as diametrically opposite to the color themes that they are supposed to embody. Fi with her purple hair in a quote-unquote blue world of Piltover and Jinx with her blue hair in the quote-unquote purple imaginative world of Zaun. It is truly these little details that make Arcane such a masterpiece of animation and why it's well deserved to be considered one of the best animated shows and best video game adaptations in recent memory. So that's an interesting thing to keep an eye out when you consider which champions might be featured more prominently in Arcane Season 2, such as the newest League of Legends champion Zeri, with her greens and bright neon yellows, who's to say what her role in a possible Arcane Season 2 might be? If you want to know what I think, you can check out that video right here. <laughs>